Hi, my name is Natalia. I'm currently a STEM ambassador here at Ridley College and I'm currently enrolled in the dental assistant program. Hello, my name is Kaylin. I'm a STEM ambassador here at Ridley College and I am also a biology major. For the gumdrop tower, you will need a bag of gumdrops, toothpicks, and a weight. For the weight, we used a potato. We'll be building two towers. One of the structures is going to be made out of triangles and the other one is going to be made out of squares. Our goal is to see which structure provides the most stability and to test this, we're going to see which one can hold the weight of one potato. To create the same height, the triangle structure required more materials than the square structure. When engineers design and construct buildings, they have to take into account the cost of materials being used. In our gumdrop tower, we can see that the triangle structure is more expensive than the square one, but it is stronger and stable. Now we are going to test the structure strength by placing one large potato on it. The potato is roughly 300 grams or half a pound. As you can see, the triangle structure is able to support the weight placed on it. This is because its shape provides more stability and rigidness. However, it is important to note that both structures are not completely straight up and down. This is due to the uneven surface it was built on. This angle changes both of the structure's center of gravity, which allows it to topple over more easily. If the structures were not tilted, it would increase its resistance to falling over when the potato is placed on it. As you can see, the triangle structure provides the strongest stability, and this is because it distributes weight evenly and provides immense support with its base. Whereas with the square, it's very unstable, and when weight is placed on it, it kind of folds into a parallelogram. Now that you have seen how it's done, you can try this at home. 